going on guys? It is Greg. We are back in the garage for another video, another vlog. This week, I don't really have much planned as far as car stuff because I just don't. Um, now we have a few weeks before the Mark V Squad Barbecue. Yes, the Mark V Squad Barbecue is back. You would have seen if you follow me on social media or the Mark V Squad page that we have the barbecue. It is coming back. It is May 2nd at, you know what, I forget the parking lot, but I'm gonna leave all the info as to where it is in the description below. But anyways, the barbecue is on, we're bringing it back. It's gonna be an annual thing. We missed last year because of, just everybody was busy and then we had uh, Alpine Vatch Fair, but we're bringing it back, we have the date set. So all you guys can come out if you're in the area, Bring your families, bring some food or drinks or whatever to share with everybody. It is a potluck style barbecue. Um, the park has basketball, uh, volleyball, uh, stuff for the kids, all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot, a lot of fun. If you've been there, you know what it is going to be like. Bring your cars or don't bring your cars. Just come on out, chill with the squad and have some fun. Um, I was going to take Christine apart. Now, I say apart, but I wanted to redo the wheels and the air ride setup. I'm not sure if I can get all that done um, in time for that. So I think the trunk setup is what mostly I'm going to focus on. I'll probably start that next week. Um, but this week, we have some house stuff to deal with. Um, I have a little stuff I have to finish off with the floor because I'm almost done with that. Because I have to get that done before the 20th of March because we have a housewarming um, party coming going on then. But I do have some stereo stuff for the house that I want to get into. Uh, yesterday, I went up into Orlando and met with um, a family and bought their old setup. It's not really old. They just wanted something smaller and not as loud. So let me show you guys what I picked up. As you can see, Christine is hanging out in all her greenness. Um, had a flat tire. My wife had a flat tire. I plugged it, but I guess it still has a small leak. So I have to take this wheel to a tire shop and see if I can have it patched from the inside. But I really want to get it removed because in driving with it flat, the paint got chipped up. So for all the wheels, I'm just going to take the tires off, um, sand down the wheels, and paint them all gloss black the way I want them. Then put the tires back on once it's fixed, and then we'll be good to go. But this is what I wanted to show you guys what we're doing this week shouldn't take too long i want to clean these up they had them in the house and they had dogs with hair so as you can see they're a little bit they're hairy a little bit here a little bit of damage but it doesn't affect the way that they sound these are boston acoustics towers and front speaker center speaker and sub i also in the deal they also gave me Pioneer receiver down there. And yeah, so I want to clean these up. Maybe fix here, maybe repaint this area so they look nice. Clean everything up, hook everything up, and then see how they sound and play inside the house. See if we can get the house rocking. They had some monster cable here that they threw in as well. So we're going to do this today. Some of you have asked. Uh, if I got the compressor up and running. Now, I rebuilt it. It does work. Um, I wasn't too sure, because at work we can test like voltage and amperage on our power supplies. So at 12 volts, it barely kind of runs and the amps go high. Now I checked the specs and the amps can go up to 23, so I'm not really worried about that. The issue that it was, I don't know if because it's tight because of the rebuild, or the strength of the motor. But I had to turn the voltage up to like 60 volts for this thing to really start pumping. So I'm not sure if that's good or not. I do have this motor, which I'm probably gonna swap in at a later date and see if that works better. If it does, then I'll have two compressors. If not, I'm still at one, which is what I have in Christine right now. I really wanna do a dual compressor setup um, for speed of filling the tank and just in case one dies, I still, I'm still able to fill up the tank and not be stuck if, you know, an emergency happens. 
And if I can't get it to run, then I'll be probably looking into getting two um, 444 compressors just because why not? And the trunk setup I have in my head, uh, I need two, two compressors to complete the look. So yeah. So let's get these um, towers cleaned up. Um, and if there's any issues with like, I think one of the legs are loose, we'll try to see if I have some hardware that I can fix those and get everything tight. Also, I did this section of the flooring. Uh, what, what do you want? Did this section of the flooring uh, yesterday, I believe. Thursday, Thursday I did this. And I just, I went and got the molding at Home Depot to finish this off. So this will match the rest of the house. I did pick up these Sony towers. Super, super cheap. These sound good as well. But the price that I got, those Boston Acoustics, these, whew, these might be for sale or I might put them in the game room or upstairs in the loft. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we're gonna have options. We are going to have, uh-oh, uh we're dark. Yeah, so I did just notice that my camera is low on battery power, so I'm charging the battery. And then, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys down, go cut the grass real quick, and by the time I'm done, the battery should be charged, and we can get on our business of cleaning those up. You see, my area of the garage is still not. <sighs> I have a 10 inch box that's gonna go in Christine. Subwoofer still sitting there for the stereo system. Got a box full of Hot Wheel cars. I'm not sure what's in here. Posters that I need to get frames for. Got some old posters here of uh, the stuff that was hanging in the old garage. Um, purple vinyl. Uh, was those foot flop vinyl there? All the stock wheels are mounted, just sitting up over there. Box full of 12s, two 12s there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I have to go through that. That's a hodgepodge and then clean up this area. I do have, I'm not sure where it is, it's back here somewhere. A wall mount for tires, you can fit four tires on. I do want to mount that in this area. I think do two of those for these wheels that way they can get up out of the way because I want this area for um, my cabinets whenever I get those. I think this is I really need a workbench and I need to I need to build one soon, maybe in like a week or two, because it'd be easier to just work on a table with this instead of on the ground. like there's six six screws let's see if it's a Phillips Phillips this is too, it doesn't work oh oh yeah Phillips
already making progress. Let's go. Down. I'll just throw in the wash. Alright. Pretty much put this back together. The screws came out, didn't they? Sure did. Okay, now we're going to turn down the torque settings on the drill because you don't want to strip up any of the screws. And tighten. Now growing up, my, uh, my dad always had tower speakers all over the place. Um, in every house, we only live in, in two houses, make it sound like it's so much, every house. Uh, I think that missed the holes on the bottom. But, um, yeah, so, we'd wake up on the morning, Saturday, Sunday morning, and there'd be music playing in the house, where he's making breakfast for the whole family. See, I knew I shouldn't have tightened anything down. Loosen everything up to get all the whole screws in the holes first. And then we'll tighten up everything. Once every screw has cut its quick thread, something like that. It allows each screw to catch its location. on the top and then we go back and tighten everything down. There we go. Snug. I kind of like the look of these without the without the covers. Let's see what the wife thinks. She's gonna be the one. We don't have any kids that are gonna walk around poking anything so I don't have to worry about it. We don't really have that many kids come over. So, I might be able to luck out with keeping the speakers exposed and looking good like they do. This piece I am gonna clean because it's got hair and stuff on it. But, look how good these things look. Just need a little cleaning. I'll tape off and the edges like there but I have been a huge fan of Boston Acoustic for years I used to have their speakers in my first Jetta my first Jetta was a 95 96 96 uh, 2 uh, manual white I think it was like I'm pretty sure it was a GL and it had no power windows or anything but the reason I bought it and you're gonna think I'm crazy. Went to the dealership. I had a I had a '93 Civic EX, fully loaded, everything. Sold that car. Went to go find another car. Um, I was seven, seventeen, eighteen. So go to the dealership. I see the Jetta, white, not lowered, but with the silver OZ wheels. It had some OZ wheels, like the split six spoke, something like that. Behind it. GTI, black, VR6, leather, everything. I think it, it may have been lowered 
on the factory wheels, or might not, I'm not 100% sure. I passed up the VR6 for the Jetta just because it had the wheels. I know, I know, crazy, crazy, but at the time, I was still drawn to the Jetta. If I knew back then, 100%, I would have obviously went for the VR, and I don't know, I probably still wouldn't have had the car now, but that's not the point. I passed up the power and the fun of a GTI for a plain 2.0 GL Jetta. Big mistake, I know. But I love this car so much. Getting from a Honda into the Jetta, like closing the door, it felt solid. The car drove beautifully. And then, man, it wasn't even three months later. Uh, I was on an accident on the highway up there and lost control on a rainy night. Coming back from Jersey and spun out and hit the divider and pretty much destroyed the front of the car, which it could have been fixed for them the damage, but being on the side of the road in the median, um, we were standing in the middle of the road and a car came, didn't see the flashers, I guess, and smashed into the trunk and just completely destroyed the car. So that's the story of my first Mark III. Anyways, in that car, I had Bossing Q6 speakers and they sounded absolutely incredible. So when I saw these come up on Facebook Marketplace, I had to, I had to, I had to buy them. So I'm just going to clean them up for now, take them inside, hook them up, and see how they sound. I can't wait to hear this thing get busy. Alright, use my, one of my cleaning brushes from, I think this is from Detail Garage uh, Chemical Guys. Just got in here and got rid of some of the dust. This works actually perfect, nice and soft and long bristles to get in anywhere. And dust, as you can see, look at the dustiness right there. Look at that thing go. You don't have to, I always thought people were weird for using these to dust anything. These for your vents and like the creases of your dash, absolutely priceless. And it's cheap. I think it's like seven bucks for this thing. Look at this. Gets in all the creases, gets the dust out. I'm making commercials for products that aren't even mine. Look at it. I mean, granted, you could use compressed air, but this really gets in the crevices. And then... Wipe out the big the cones. And good. Good. Wipe the top and sides. Just use some quick detailer to clean those up. And we're good. Now, you would think a center speaker, not that heavy. I can barely pick this thing up with one hand. It probably weighs about 20, 25 pounds. So you know it's solid and sturdy. Get that dust out of there. So what we're gonna do now, take it inside. We'll clean this up, take it inside, hook everything up, and see how she sounds when she really rocks out. So if you've never seen it, this is the bottom of a down firing sub. A uh, 10 inch, or eight, I think it's an eight. Eight inch sub there. Two ports with the controls on the back. For the crossover, input, speaker wires, we're good. So, take this in, hook everything up, and see how it sounds. Let's go find my aux cable.
the system is hooked up. I still didn't take it back, bring it back into the garage, um, paint up the edges and clean up the edges. I need to go get one bolt if I don't have it here for one of the feet. Uh, wash the covers. I really do like them without the covers, so I might keep them without the covers. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. But they sound great. They shake the house. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. They sound crystal clear and clean. Um, the only thing with the receiver, it's an older receiver, so it doesn't have Bluetooth, so you have to still have to plug your phone in. But I did find out doing some research, they sell Bluetooth, um, like little Bluetooth receivers that you can connect to your home stereos to update them to have Bluetooth. So I might do that for the meantime, and then until later on I can save up and then buy a good receiver, probably Boston Acoustic, why not, um, receiver that has Bluetooth built in, so I don't have to run under the box. So I'm bringing them back out here, clean them up, put them back inside, hook everything up, make it look nice, wire it up, and then we'll be good to go on that front. Um, anything else for today? Not really. I have these Sony ones. I might get rid of them because I think I'm going to put... I have the speakers, the towers for this unit here upstairs in the loft. So I'm probably going to put that upstairs with some wire, and that way if we, anybody wants to listen to music upstairs they'll have that system there this I think it's gonna be probably too big for um, anything in I don't know I have a small little desktop speakers that sound really good I might bring those out here that way if I'm working out here I can have music out here and then these I don't know maybe the game room I'm not 100% sure because then I'm not exactly sure how I would hook these up to the PS4 oh also, if you're on the PSN network, I think my name on there is Lasershark812. Hit me up, send me a friend request. I'm not a super huge, huge gamer, but I'm getting back into it like I told you guys before. And right now I'm playing Destiny, uh, a little bit of Division 2. Um, you know, Fighter Z. I'm still, still trying to learn that. But I'm down to playing whatever. I'm, a couple of people have been bugging me about getting Call of Duty, but... I don't know. Maybe sometime soon I'll get it. I'm not a huge first-person shooter um, fan, but I'm getting more and more used to it playing Destiny and like games like Borderlands and stuff like that. So hit me up. Maybe we'll get on and we'll play whenever. Usually on after work, like around four, probably like four to five, four to five thirty, give or take. And then in the evenings, like around a little time after eight, if I'm not going to the gym. So. With that said, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, sorry if you were looking for car content this week. We don't really have any. Uh, next week, we'll start to dive into Christine. Getting her ready for her. now. It's barbecue prep, I guess. I really wanted to take the car apart, but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. We'll start that. And that's it, man. Like I said before, if you haven't and you would like to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit a like on these videos that goes along long way trying to get in the explore page once you hit the explore page your channel normally takes off so with that being said hope everybody has an awesome awesome rest of your weekend and an awesome awesome week and i will see you guys next time in the garage peace